Welcome to the video. So today what we're going to be focusing on is with Crystal, um, our model, she doesn't want to lose a lot of length in her hair, but she also wants her hair to be healthy. So that's something that as hairdressers we struggle with because of the fact that, um, you know, you want your client to be happy, right? But you also need their hair to look healthy. So uh, me and Crystal, we decided on about three and a half, three inches uh, being taken off of her hair. So that's going to get... Uh, her hair back to a healthy state. You can see how weak it is right on the end. So um, I go through there, I clean it up. I'm also cutting the back at a one length. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is I want a nice solid line. Crystal's also got a nice medium density of hair, so it's not super thick. So it works really well to cut that blunt line in the back. Um, and I'm gonna continue bringing all of her hair, taking a half inch um, parting at a time, section at a time, and bringing it back and cutting that blunt line. That blunt line is going to give me a nice healthy appearance to her hair when we blow it dry. So I just, again, you can see I take the half inch section, bring it back to me, um, comb it down, and I cut a straight blunt line in the back, nice and clean. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So just working my way up the head, combing it over the shoulder, and then cutting that blunt line. Once I get this done, the other thing I want you guys to notice is that Crystal wears a center parting. So I want to keep everything nice and symmetrical as I work through it. So I talked to Crystal. She, uh, did she want to bang? Uh, what was she looking for in the very front of her hair? She said, you know, I don't really want to bang, but I do like those shorter pieces that I can kind of push back, um, which to me probably gives her that movement that she's looking for. It keeps her haircut interesting without her losing a lot of length, right? So I go through, I take diagonal forward partings, I bring them across her face over to the opposite side of the chair, and I cut uh, basically with my fingers parallel to her jawline. Um, and the reason I do that is that gives me a nice um, kind of an over direction that pushes that weight, keeps the length in the haircut, but also gives her a nice angle in the very front of uh, her face. So um, this is going to push the weight off of her face, really open up her face, so it's a great option. I also, you'll notice, um, just so you don't miss this part, I cut my guideline by pulling a little bit of hair down and cut it to, to match. Um, but you'll also notice when I go through here that I don't work all the way down the head shape. Now you could, but I didn't want to take away the length in the very front of her hair. So all the temple area, which is the longest lengths of her hair sitting in the very front, um, I don't touch those. I, I keep that at that blunt line that I cut in the back. And I just add these layers um, until I get to about the parietal ridge. You'll see that I pull um, a little bit over, uh, and then that's where I cut that angle. So that gives me the life that I need, but it doesn't take away the length in the front of the haircut. So I continue all the way through, um, doing that same angle, keeping my fingers parallel to her, uh, her jawline. And now we're gonna style her up. So we're gonna use the Joico Power Whip. Uh, it's a whipped foam. It's a level nine on their hold system, which goes up to 10. So it's got a nice hold to it. It's great for building volume. And also it gives a lot of condition and shine to the hair as well. So um, I go through, I blow dry that in using a paddle brush. Then I go through and I do some iron work just to smooth her hair out and give a little bend to the hair. And then I finish it off with the Joico Power Spray. This is a level eight to 10 on the hold scale. Uh, it's definitely got a great hold to it um, and it helped kind of separate those pieces that we created um, cutting the face frame. Here's the end result guys. You can see all the pieces in the front but how clean and blunt it looks in the back. Hope you guys like this cut. If you have any questions about it hit me up on social media. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.